So right, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to correctly reset your server on Elixir and the incorrect ways of doing so. So, let's begin. So firstly, what you want to do is go to the elixirnode.com website, go to the right where it says panels and then click on game panel. This should redirect you to this list of servers. Just click on the server you're currently using and a dashboard should appear. Now you have three buttons to choose from. To correctly reset a server when it's running, all you really want to do is press the restart button, which restarts the server. The other way you could do is press the stop button and then when the server is fully stopped, press the start button. Keep in mind when you do press the stop button, it will give you an uh, option to kill the server, which is not recommended to do. As when you kill the server, all the plugins, all the processes in the server gets terminated instantly, basically not giving the plugins a chance to correctly shut down, which could lead to data leaks and data loss. The only time the kill process is necessary if your server is not responsive or has crashed, and the only way to bring it back online is by killing the process and resetting the server itself. The other ill-advised method would be running slash reload command in game as it can break both your server and the plugin installed. As most plugins are encoded to function with the command so it can make plugins stop working and reduce data loss. So if a new plugin has been added to the server, it is recommended to reset the server instead of putting a slash reload command. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, just like and subscribe to this channel and I see you in the next one and have a good day. Bye bye.